what is normal costing or the normal costing approach and how does it relate to overhead? Well, to begin with, normal costing is simply a means or method of allocating costs specifically to a product. Now, the costs that you allocate are materials, labor, but the part of normal costing relates to overhead specifically. Basically, what it does is uh, the accountant or the organization comes up with a standard or derived overhead rate. That is the total overhead. You come up with a rate for how you would allocate some portion of the total overhead based upon the, the driver of an overhead cost, and it's related to the output of the product. So perhaps for every hour of labor or every uh, whatever that's invested into making the product, you would allocate some percentage of the overhead based upon that derived overhead rate. Now, the great thing about using a derived overhead rate is it smooths expenses out. You avoid some of the cost spikes that otherwise you would see if you reported actual cost as they occurred, like activity-based costing would allocate. Okay, uh, and it's certainly more accurate than just projected cost or what we call standard costing, where you um, put an expected amount rather than the actual cost rate as it's happening. So with that being said, how do you calculate your normal costing rate? Well, to get your uh, first, the derived rate, you need your overhead rate um, first, whatever your company determines that to be, uh, and you'd multiply it by your allocation base, whatever that is. And if that's an hour of something's time or if it's a certain amount of material that goes into it or whatever you determine as being the appropriate allocation base for that product and you would multiply that again by the uh, overhead rate. So how do you calculate the overhead rate? You take the total overhead and divide it by uh, the total allocation base and like I said your allocation base can be any number of things, uh, but it can be money uh, spent on something or the total uh, value of what you're putting out or the total number of units that you're putting out. And if you can use any of these to come up with that, again, that allocation base, it will give you the multiple to um, uh, multiply by your, uh, again, your um, actual allocation into whatever you put in there times your overhead rate. And that's how you're going to get, uh, again, the cost that you would allocate towards the product. So in essence, in summary, what is happening here, in, in addition to material and labor, you're using these variables to come up with an allocation rate for the company's overhead. And when you come up with this um, uh, allocation base, you can multiply it by your overhead rate, which is just some portion or, you know, fraction representing uh, the total percentage or the total amount of overhead that the company occurs. Multiply these together and it would give you your normal cost for the production of that product or that group of products.